Uh, hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to talk about lathe simulation and one of the options that can be pretty useful. So I have a roughing and finishing cycle loaded here. Let's go ahead and launch the simulation. And in the Predator software, when you simulate your, your G code in the Predator Editor Pro that we offer, there's a three quarter view, which is just a cutaway that makes it easier to see what's going on with the part. Um, in the simulation that comes standard with the version 27, there's a section view, but it can be a little tricky to remember where it is, or at least it was for me. So I want to show you where this section view is located. So. In the simulation that we have loaded here, I can play the simulation through and you can see we, we have a simulation of our cut part. But if we wanted to do a section view, how would you do it? Well, on the right side of the screen, there's a bunch of tabs, uh, statistics, measuring, uh, you know, different tools that you can use uh, and options in the simulation. The one that you want to go to is the cut sim tab. And when you go to this tab, you can click on the advanced properties. Uh, icon. This will bring up a new uh, dialog. Uh, there's some some different functions that this offers that is that is pretty useful. But the one uh, that we want to look at is enabling the section plane. And what this section plane allows us to do is to do a half uh, section of the part. So instead of seeing the entire diameter, we're going to just see half of it. So we can set this value to zero. OK, and then from there we can choose OK. And then now when we go through our simulation or run this through, you can see that we have just a, a section view of the part. Uh, again, it makes it a, a little bit easier to see what's going on. You can enable this uh, at the beginning of your simulation and play it through. And then that way you're just looking at a section view. It's not a three quarter, it's a half, uh, but very useful. Again, where it's located is under cut sim, uh, the cut sim dialog, and then you have advanced properties. Uh, so if you guys forget like I did, you'll now have this video to remember. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, uh, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.